Hey, what's going on guys? It's David here. It's been like three weeks since I've done a video and I thought what better way to uh, kick off making videos again um, by doing a beginner's guide to botting. So this is gonna be a very thorough uh, video where we're gonna go through the basics of finding cook groups. We're gonna go through the basis of uh, picking a bot. Um, and then also talking about the different kinds of items that you guys might want to purchase. So uh, for those of you guys that are better, that prefer reading, I have a full uh, written tutorial on my blog that'll be linked down below in the description of this video. Uh, but for those of you guys that would like a more like a walkthrough uh, experience, that's what this video is gonna be all about. Again, I'm super sorry about uh, being off the last three weeks. I was actually on vacation in uh, Seattle for three weeks for work. Well, vacation, but also working um, in Seattle. So uh, we're gonna be getting right back into videos, uh, shooting more content for you guys. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop into this video. All right, guys, so um, thank you very much for checking out today's video. Like I said earlier, um, it's been quite some time off. Um, it took three weeks. Uh, was up in Seattle doing some work as well as botting as usual. Uh, but I did have some time to put together a guide for those of you guys that are really interested in getting into the world of botting but don't really know where to start. Um, I've done other videos on cook groups. I think I did one on bots as well. I'll link those all down below um, in the description of this video. But this guide right here is going to be uh, a guide to... Um, starting out botting, um, let's say for example, you only have $1,000. Um, I have a full blog post on hypekit.co. That's the blog that I have. Um, and it'll walk you through all the steps, but we're going to walk through all of those steps right now of, um, you know, looking at the different bots, looking at the different cook groups, how to choose a cook group, what things to, to be aware of. So, uh, with that guys, uh, we're just going to go ahead and hop into uh, this structure. So as I mentioned, uh, this has an out, a full outline on the different topics, uh, finding cook groups and stuff like that. So we're just going to walk through that now. So let's say you only have $1,000. What do you do? How? Do, where do you start within the world of getting started with um, a sneaker botting? Um, it's a very, very uh, mysterious topic uh, because a lot of people that do have their sources don't really want to talk about their sources. Um, they don't really want to share their information without some sort of fee. Although if you are in the right cook group, there is a lot of information that you can get from other individuals um, to improve your botting skills. Um, but as I mentioned in my other video, really what you need to focus on is first I would say getting the information getting the information that you need um, and now you could theoretically just follow all the different blogs like nice kicks or uh, kicks on fire or um, soul collector but you're probably not you're not going to get the info that you need ahead of time in order to effectively um, cop sneakers uh, that's what you want to do you want to um, you know if you're running manual, or purchasing sneakers manual, um, you're probably not going to be able to necessarily beat a bot per se because of the speed at which they are purchasing items. Now, in this process, I would say then, one of the first things that you probably wanna do is um, uh, look into cook groups. Um, there are tons, I would say maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands of different cook groups. Back in the day, people would use things like, um, uh, Nike talk to get info and whatnot. These days, everything happens in cook groups. There's cook groups on Slack. There's also cook groups on um, uh, on Discord as well. Uh, I would say most cook groups are on Discord from my from what I've seen um, and what I've been kind of picking up. And you're gonna want to have for your cook group. You're probably gonna be spending about twenty to fifty dollars per month, depending on the cook group. Um, I would say with that money that you're spending, you're probably going to have a lot of opportunities to recoup that money back, but it is going to be the investment that you need to invest in 
um, in order to successfully cop sneakers. Now, um, before I go into these paid options, I will say there are free options that are available. Um, one of my um, uh, one of the accounts that I follow um, is Sneaker Twitter. Uh, they're a very popular um, sneaker account. Uh, sneaker resale, sneaker retail um, accounts. Um, they share a lot of links to different products that are available. Obviously, right now um, it is about uh, about to be 2 a.m. on the East Coast, um, and it is the release of the Xbox. The cool thing about Sneaker Twitter is you don't need to pay for it. You just need to make sure that you have your um, post notifications on for Twitter for their account and they're going to link you to all the different um, things that are dropping. So right now, obviously, with um, the Xbox dropping, they have a lot of links to Xbox right now for all the different uh, retailers that are, are selling Xboxes. Um, they also, if we scroll down a little bit, um, they also share links to other shoes that are releasing as well. Um, so, you know, we've got these Air Force Ones uh, that they've shared info on. They have info on the uh, Crocs, uh, what are these, Luke Combs Crocs, as well as the Lucky and Gold uh, Air Max 97s. Um, so it's a very free option. There's other accounts as well. Um, there's J23. Uh, they also actually have an app as well, so you can get notifications from the app in your phone as opposed to Twitter. Soul Links, it's the same thing. Um, I'm not sure if there's a Soul Links app or not, but um, at least on their Twitter account, they're gonna give you the information ahead of time that you need um, in order to successfully purchase sneakers. The one thing I will say with these links or with these kinds of, of tw sneaker Twitter accounts, um, you're not going to be able to get the info in regards of whether or not something is worth purchasing for uh, resell or for personal, um, they're not really going to provide that kind of information to you, but they will attempt, they do attempt to try to give people links to um, accounts, early links. I would say honestly, I mean, I've, I've, I've definitely purchased things using sneaker Twitter, um, but I would say in regards to getting guidance for what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy, um, you might want to invest in a cook group. Um, a cook group is going to have all of this information ahead of time. Um, typically, they'll usually have monthly calendars. They'll have daily calendars. They'll have weekly calendars. Um, I'm not going to show you guys my cook groups for, uh, for the sake of um, uh, privacy and respect to the cook group owners. But um, you will essentially be able to um, you know, get the uh, information that you need that's in a relatively, um, you know, early time frame, you're probably going to get early leaks. Sometimes some sites will switch their early links, but you'll have those early links. Um, those cook groups will do uh, bot group buys that you're not going to be able to get if you're not in a cook group. Um, so for example, I was able to get NSB for about, I think it was 100 to $150 off the normal price um, because we had a group buy. So, you know, I saved quite a bit of money just for paying on a monthly basis to access that cook group. Um, they're also going to have information and topics on a wide range of different things. They always bring in experts, uh, whether it's cards, whether it's Pokemon cards, whether it's a bet, sports betting, you name it, any way that you can make money through a cook group, the good ones are going to provide you with that high quality information. Um, I would say, um, you know, with the cook groups that I've in, been in, I'm in two to three um, cook groups. I'm in three different cook groups. Uh, one is a little bit more general. The other two are more um, uh, more sneaker related or, or resale related. Um, so that's kind of the thing there with uh, cook groups. Um, some good places to kind of moving away from these free um, options into uh, actual paid cook groups. Um, I will say some great uh, places to go to to look for for cook groups I would say is cop supply so what you want to do is uh, I would go to cop supply 
And uh, most cook groups are gonna have a Twitter account, but um, I would come here to Cop, Cop Supply. Uh, I would go to their group section. Um, and so these are gonna be all the different cook groups that are available. Um, you've got a wide range of different cook groups that you can join. Um, but uh, what I would do is I would come in here, um, I would look at all of these different cook groups um, and uh, go to Twitter um, and look at the success that these cook groups have and look at uh, what kind of um, experience they're providing for their um, members on Twitter. A lot, most, I would say, most of the really good cook groups are going to do these kinds of things. It's the same thing with bots. Most of the really good bots are going to try to entice people to want to sign up, build up hype for their bots. I'll go into that in a little bit, but for the cook groups, um, this is exactly what I would do. Um, I would come here um, and I would literally just um, figure out the name. So this first one we have is SKR Notify. And I'll just go here, Notify. And it looks like we have Sneaker Notify here. They've got about 10,000 followers. Um, this looks to be a Chinese-based um, cook group. So whether or not you want to join a Chinese-based cook group is probably dependent on um, whether or not you can speak Chinese. But I mean, I don't think this might actually be like only Chinese people that are in this. Um, and then the cool thing is as you are vetting and looking at these different cook groups, uh, you'll be able to also get recommended other cook groups to check out um, on Twitter uh, on the you might like section. So that'll kind of help you look at the different cook groups that are available. To be quite honest, it definitely does take a bit of time to figure out what cook groups are really good and what cook groups are not as good. Um, some cook groups that I would definitely recommend trying to get into. Um, Site Supply uh, is a very good cook group that I would definitely recommend joining. Um, AM Notify is another popular cook group uh, that uh, I would also recommend you taking a look at. Um, and then also, last but not least, Notify, which I am also a member of. Um, they're a really good cook group to be a part of. The guys that, that run it are pretty great. Um, and um, yeah, these are the uh, different cook groups uh, that are available. Um, there's other sites that you can use as well to figure out cook groups. Uh, Bot Broker as well um, is another uh, site that I would definitely recommend. Bot Broker um, is really cool because not only do they do bots, but they also do groups as well. I like Bot Broker a lot because it's a very secure way to not only just research cook groups, but also uh, purchase a, a license to a or a access to a cook group. Um, all of the cook groups that are listed here on Bot Broker are also, um, uh, these are all going to be uh, access, I can't even talk right now, but um, uh, all of these listings, they're gonna be all listings from people that are selling their access to these cook groups. So what will end up happening is, is I haven't, to be quite honest, I haven't done uh, purchased from um, bot broker with a cook group. I've only done bots, but typically for from the bot standpoint, what tends to happen is you um, essentially purchase the license and it gets automatically delivered to you instantly. Um, I'm not sure how it works with um, the uh, cook groups, uh, so I'll be quite honest here, but uh, you will get a sense of how in demand is this um, cook group by the listing price, the uh, sold price. Um, you can see how in demand joining this cook group is. Um, yeah, I believe a fresh um, copy is $50, um, but you see here that people are reselling it for about three times um, the price of what they purchased it for. So 
Um, you know, there's some people out there that just flip access to different things, flip access to cook groups, flip access to bots, whatever is your tea uh, down the road as you gain more experience. But those are different options that you can do too if that's all you want to do. But again, um, this is a great place, a very secure place to look at uh, purchasing not only just bots, but also cook groups. This is something that I would definitely recommend checking out um, as you have time. So um, as we're taking a look at our um, list here, there's also another one. Uh, it's called Title Marketplace. To be quite honest, um, Title Marketplace is a free um, Discord uh, marketplace. Um, and essentially kind of how it works is there's a bunch of different buyers and sellers um, and you can buy and sell. And I believe you also have to get verified um, with um, uh, you have to get verified uh, to sell if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's, it's very peer to peer based. Uh, to be quite honest, I would wouldn't, especially if this is your first time purchasing a bot, I would be very leery and careful about purchasing from here uh, because at times people will try to scam people. They'll do things like uh, selling from uh, selling cracked bots to um, uh, just not delivering the bot after, the, after they receive the payment, all sorts of different things. So I don't buy and sell from Title Marketplace. It was one of the first places that I looked into uh, to potentially buy a bot, but I don't really because of that risk of dealing with um, a seller who may not deliver the goods that I purchase. Um, I really like Bot Broker because of that fact that it's very secure. I've never had any issues buying or selling things on Bot, bot Broker. So I would say that's probably going to be uh, your first choice uh, with regards to um, buying and selling uh, or buying access to, to cook groups. Um, so as we move along here, um, so you're going to probably be spending about, I'll say between 20 to 50, 20 to $60 per month um, for access to your group, group. So it's going to be a very minimal cost, a lot of potential for return. The next thing you're going to want to look into is purchasing a bot. Um, there are maybe hundreds of different bots out there. Um, you really want to be careful with buying bots. First of all, um, there's a couple different ways that you could purchase bots. You could purchase bots on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, like I said, via Title Marketplace. Um, I would recommend Bot Broker. Um, a great resource to look into and research bots is, I would say, again, Cop Supply. Um, I would use that same method of looking up cook groups um, by um, looking up. Um, uh, bots on Twitter. So you can come here and you can see all the different bots that are here. Um, a, a cool or a little trick that you can do uh, to see what bots are probably like the best bots to look into um, is by also going to Bot Broker and seeing which are the highest reselling bots at the moment because that's going to kind of be an indicator to let you know uh, which bots are good, which bots are successful, uh, which box are, bots are doing very, very well. So as you see, um, retail for bots is very, very low. Um, like I said, for um, NSB, I paid about 350 um, For, uh, let's see, for example, we have uh, Cyber here. Um, it is about, f right now it's reselling for about 5400 uh, but in regards to... Uh, retail, uh, how much is it retail? To be quite honest, I'm not sure how much is how much it retails for. This bot resells for. Doesn't even have the price. Uh, but it's probably going to be about in the same range. To be quite honest, um, I don't have the price right now. Um, some other bots. Uh, there's there's going to be a ton of different bots depending on um, the kind of botting that you want to do. Do you want to focus only on Supreme? Do you want to only focus on Yeezy Supply? Do you only want to focus on Shopify sites? Um, there's It's a whole other world that you're going to have to learn and, and kind of learn about uh, by uh, joining a cook group, I would say. 
joining a cook group is going to teach you all of these different things um, that you need to understand and know about botting these different sites. Um, so, um, so yeah, so you're going to want to take that time to do a little bit of research to figure out what bots to look into. Um, you know, ask questions in your cook group. They're, they're there to really help you succeed. Um, I would say that's, that's really what you want to focus on, um, uh, to, to really learn about, uh, bots. Um, uh, I have used, uh, Dash, I've used, um, Cybersoul, I've used, um, NSB, which is the main bot that I use. Um, I, yeah, and those are the three, three, four bots that I've used. Um, and, and one of the things you can also do as well as, you know, as you're going through this process of learning how to bot, you can use uh, bot rentals. So one that I use from time to time is uh, Pookie, Pookie Rentals, um, or a Pookie Bot. Um, they sell proxies, but they also sell access to, or they also rent out bots. Um, I've used them numerous times. Um, delivery is instant. Licenses given um, instantly, so you don't need to worry about um, any sort of peer to peer issues. Here, as well, again, you're going to see the more um, successful bots are probably going to be out of stock um, and are probably going to be a, a lot more expensive. Kodai is a really good all in one bot, I believe they're pretty much. You can bot like almost anything with Kodai, um, kind of at the same caliber as Cybersoul, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, same thing with Eve as well. Uh, but the thing you could do here is pretty cool because say you want to test out a bot um, and see if it's a bot that you might be interested in, you can rent this bot for either a day, a week, a month. Um, sometimes I think they do for multiple months. Um, and what will happen is, is Pookie has their own cook group as well that you can learn how to set up that bot, get some basic information about how to bot for whatever specific release um, you're running for. Um, and so it, allow you, it allows you to um, test and bot at a very low cost. Like I said, uh, from time to time, I will rent, um, let's say, for example, Cyber for a release that I am really trying to cop a lot of items from. So um, this is great because, you know, not only will I have NSB, which is my main bot, but I'll have another bot that's really, um, you know, built really well, um, is probably not going to have any sort of issues, as many issues on release day as NSB will or any other bot. So um, this is a very low cost, low barrier entry into um, botting. Um, if you're if you're new, you don't have a lot of capital. This might actually be maybe something that you do um, pretty regularly, as opposed to actually buying a bot. I would say you're probably better off just like buying a bot and starting from that standpoint of like learning how to bot. Um, but you can also rent as well if that's what you want to do, as opposed to paying the three hundred to four hundred dollars up front if that's not something that you have immediately but then again if you are botting and you don't have three to four hundred dollars up front to pay for a bot botting might not be the best route to 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 uh to go huh. sorry guys a little tired okay so um these are some options that you have here uh, to rent bots, uh, bot broker, definitely great place to, uh, buy bots, um, instant, uh, license delivery, instant bot delivery. Um, uh, cop supply is a great place to research bots, to figure out what bots you're interested in, figure out what bots are great for what platforms. And then also again, use Twitter to, um, uh, check out the success and the experience that each bot gives to their users. Now, some bots that I would definitely say you could uh, take a look at as a beginner. Um, one of the first ones, well, the one thing I will say is that the bots that are really well, that do really well, are most of the time always going to be out of stock. They might do releases on Twitter uh, for for people that use Twitter, and they might do like, hey, we just hit. Um, you know, 10,000 checkouts, we're going to do a giveaway today, or, hey, we, you know, did 
um, we have a million followers on Twitter, so we're gonna do a, a giveaway today, or we're gonna do a um, we're gonna give away we're gonna allow um, three license or three keys uh, for purchase today. So you'll definitely want to be on Twitter to kind of monitor those um, uh, bots and, and make sure that you have post notifications for there. Um, on the flip side, there are some bots that are available um, year round that they're never sold out that are okay. They're not the um, cyber souls. They're not the splash force. They're not the Balco of botting, but you can definitely get by um, cooking with these bots. There's people that are, are cook gods with some of these bots. Um, one of the first ones that I would uh, definitely recommend checking out is AIO bot. So it's a, a 325 one-time payment, um, but it's always in stocks stock it support supports most sites um i will say that from my experience i was a part of their cook group um, when i first got into this whole world of botting um, i didn't really like the experience because of the quality of the quality and the timeliness and information wasn't necessarily there um, but uh, they are a bot that always is in stock and if let's say for example you buy this bot you've already joined a cook group you can get help from other people in the cook group to set up for releases uh, with whatever bot that you're purchasing so um, this is a bot that's always going to be in stock what i would recommend is maybe even just like getting one of these bots to start out do your botting thing as you build up your resources and um, you know you have more capital for investing in botting you know switch over to something else um, you can always switch over to, to, to other things. Um, so that's AIO bot. Uh, like I said, it's always in stock. Um, they have, you know, one of the things for context, um, the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green, they had about 1.3 thousand checkouts um, uh, compared to the ship bot, which is a Nike, um, uh, Nike.com bot. Uh, they had about 5,000 checkouts. So it's not impossible that you, um, it's not, I won't say that you won't not be able to cook, you just might not be able to hit as much as some of these other uh, bots. Um, another bot to check out is Nike Shoe Bot. This is actually um, my main bot that I use. It's about 500 uh, bucks a year. Um, this bot is also available year round. The really cool thing that I would, why I would recommend this bot is because they have um, a really, um, there's updates every week, all the time, um, and uh, a lot of what you consider celebrity botters or a sneakerhead, uh, whatever, um, use this bot. And one of the biggest highlights about this bot is they have what are called blue tasks. Um, so with all of these bots, you essentially run tasks. Um, now with the blue tasks, you can connect this these tasks to your cook group. Um, via Discord, and then what'll happen is, is you can start, um, you can enter some keywords, click start, and the task will just monitor for whenever um, any of the monitors on your Discord cook group um, update for a specific item based off of the keywords that you enter. So it's not like you have to like actually set up uh, for um, that specific release. Um, you could just run blue tasks. They'll kind of like run all day. You definitely do have to be careful because if you input the wrong keywords or um, you know, you're know you not paying attention, maybe you're not at home, uh, you might end up purchasing things that you definitely didn't want to. Uh, that's happened to me before. Um, and so you just wanna be careful and mindful of those things. But I would say um, uh, NSB is a very great bot. There's a lot of people that cook with it. Um, I pretty much use this every week. Um, and then from time to time, I'll, I'll rent out Cyber or rent out another bot. Um, and then the last bot, this was the first bot that I purchased. This was Dash. Um, Dash is um, Dash is Dash is something else. Um, Dash is a bot that um, it does okay with Supreme. It does okay with Shopify. Um, their developer team, development team is very small. Um, and so, in all honesty, the quality of experience isn't the greatest. I would say it's marginal at best. But um, if you're wanting to get started, you don't want to spend too much money. 
Um, it's a great place to start. Um, at 50 bucks a month, it's pretty cheap. So let's say, for example, this is your first month starting. That's only about 100 bucks that you've put into joining a cook group and uh, buying a bot. The only thing with Dash is that you definitely do need to make sure um, that you are um, uh, you have their post notifications on for when they do do releases. Um, and then um, if, if that doesn't work, you can also actually uh, purchase on um, Bot Broker and they have this available. I'm actually surprised that Dash is that high. Um, I had an expired key and so I forgot to renew my Dash. Um, but um, yeah, so it's either 200 bucks uh, for lifetime, I believe, or 50 bucks a month. Um, but as of right now, um, the prices on Dash right now are doing fairly well. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if they've been killing it on some releases or doing a lot better than normal. But I would say don't expect too much from using Dash. Um, I didn't really, to be quite honest, didn't have too much success with Dash. Um, and I quickly moved away from, from Dash to NSB. So if you can, I would say definitely look into NSB. Um, if NSB doesn't fit your budget, then definitely take a look at Dash if you can. Um, there are also um, mobile bots. Um, there is one that I use that I think that is always in stock, um, and that is Swiftsoul. Um, they are they focus primarily on um, Supreme, um, and they've I've had I've been using Swiftsoul now for a couple months. And I've hit every single week that I've ran on Swiss Soul. I haven't had any issues. Um, I did join initially when they first started. Um, and when I joined when they first started, um, I wasn't able to actually even get the app running on my phone. But now it's great because I can, um, you know, have this bot running while I'm at meetings and stuff like that or, or while I'm working. Um, and it doesn't really take real estate on my computer while I'm working. Um, and like I said, I've hit every week that I've ran uh, Swift Soul. So this is another, if you really only want to focus on Supreme, um, this is a great bot that I would look into. And um, the price for this is, uh, let's see, it's about 50 bucks. Uh, I got it on a group buy and I think it ended up being like 30 bucks. But I would definitely recommend uh, checking out Swift Soul uh, for reselling Supreme. Which now leads us into the last topic, and that's uh, picking a resale niche. Now that you've got your cook group, now that you've got your bot, um, you, you've you maybe spent anywhere from either $100 to $150 all the way up to $500 on the bot as well as your cook group. That's going to leave you with about $500 to focus on inventory, purchasing items for actual resale. Um, I would say a great place to start uh, would be Supreme. Um, Supreme has seasons. They have summer, spring, summer, um, fall, winter, um, and uh, you get that time to be able to learn. Um, you know, if you miss one week, you always have a, uh, an upcoming week to retest um, uh, botting on Supreme uh, with whatever bot it is that you're using. You can go the route of just botting everything. Um, there are individuals that just buy everything. Um, and the thing about that, there are a lot of different release times that you do kind of have to pay attention to and be aware of. And the profit margin for everything um, isn't always gonna be there. For example, with Kith, um, every week, they always have the Monday program um, that happens every Monday at 8 a.m. PST. Um, what is that, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern time not every Monday morning program does very well. So you're going to want to look at what else is releasing that day in order to figure out what to purchase. And, um, you know, you'll get a taste of, of picking up everything. You can just go for whatever is hyped. Um, in my opinion, I think, you know, maybe you start out doing that, but definitely niche down on a specific resale um, market. Maybe that's Supreme, Whether maybe that's Yeezy, maybe that's Bape, maybe that's Undefeated. Um, and that will allow you to really have a little bit better control of spending, especially because um, you can kind of anticipate each week how much you're going to be spending on what. Um, with Supreme, it's a little hit or miss because 
not every release is gonna have things that are, are that are really like cook worthy, especially nowadays uh, with a lot of the stuff that they're reselling. But you're gonna have anywhere between a 10 to 50 percent profit margin there, depending on the release for that week. Um, but again, it really depends on what's releasing that week in order to really determine um, if you'll have some stuff for resale. Um, and but uh, the great thing is, is uh, you have th uh, every Tuesday there's in store um, signups as well as Thursdays. There's the online release and um, you're going to have numerous opportunities to attempt to bot either um, some bots. Actually, I would say a lot of bots allow you uh, to uh, use certain features to sign up for um, the in-store sign-up appointments for Supreme. So, um, you know, you'll have a lot of opportunity to test that out as you, um, you know, figuring out what you want to do next. Um, obviously, another thing to, to call out is there's all with Supreme, there are these coveted um, collections that drop, for example, box logo tees. Um, Supreme North Face, and then all these other real random sort of like um, releases that, that take place on a week-to-week -week basis. Um, I think this week that I'm recording this, there's like a fishbowl that's dropping. That might do really well. Um, another place to check out is Supreme Community. Um, they always, they have um, um, uh, ratings for each of the items that are releasing that week, and you can see what items are hyped and what items are not, and that'll kind of help you determine what to really like put your money towards uh, with Supreme. Nike, you got releases almost every single day. Um, I would say at least three to four days a week. You've got Jordans, you've got, um, you know, Air Maxes, you have uh, Nike SBs, so many different things from Nike and, and Jordan that are releasing on a week to, re week, to week basis. And that profit margin is going to be really high because. Um, depending depending on what's releasing, whether it's Dunk SBs, whether it's Dunks, whether it's uh, Jordan 1s, um, and if it's a really classic colorway or if it's a collaboration that's that's really anticipated. Um, so there, uh, yeah, like I said, you've got, you know, Jordan Fragment, Jordan Union LA, Jordan Off-White, uh, Nike SB Dunks, um, a lot of different things to pick from there. Um, you can always check out the launch calendar to see what's releasing for that week. Your cook group should also have weekly calendars of what's releasing from Nike that, that week. Um, so those are definitely things that you can, um, you know, uh, make a lot of money from with Nike, especially because Nike also has other retail accounts where stuff is releasing. So maybe you don't hit on sneakers, which most people don't. Um, you might be able to hit on like Champs or Foot Action or um on kith or on um uh, undefeated a lot of different options to um make make some profit and to get a lot of stock and a lot of inventory um the next thing we got is yeezy um so yeezy obviously everybody knows you've got the 350s you've got the um 700s you've got the 380s now um yeezy is kind of Depending on the release, um, it's it's kind of hit or miss. I really don't go for Yeezys as much anymore because I feel like with Ye's whole approach to wanting to you know have Yeezys for everybody, there's times where you know you'll be able to get Yeezys from Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> depending on the release, and so it's kind of really hard to tell what is going to do well with Yeezy. Um, I would say the 380s haven't really been doing too great outside of like the alien colorway of the, the first one that came. Um, the older 350, well, the 350s can or cannot do very well, fairly well. Um, if you do go for the th for Yeezys, you're going to want to get those base sizes. So those smaller sizes, because those are going to be the sizes that, you know, women are going to want as well as men. So there's going to be a lot more people that are purchasing those things as opposed to just only going for male sizes um so um you know if it's a if it's a nice looking colorway sometimes it'll do really well and then other times it won't do um as well but um yeezy is another um uh, option to go with uh they don't have releases every week um so you're not you may not necessarily be able to hit um or you may not be able to practice on yeezy botting yeezy very often um but i would say at least 
two to three times a month, there's going to be some easy releases. Um, and, you know, again, it might be hit or miss with regards to how successful it is, but definitely make sure to check out StockX as well as like GOAT to kind of see what prices are uh, for different items or for even previous Yeezy releases. Um, Kith, uh, Kith, like I said earlier, they have their Monday morning program. They do a lot of different collaborations with a lot of different people. Um, some really popular ones, uh, the uh, Kith uh, BMW one that happened recently, Kith Asics. Uh, so that's where Ronnie Fag um, came out with some uh, uh, Asics. Uh, I, I can't even remember which ones, but um, then you've got Kith Space Jam. Uh, Kith Coca-Cola, Kith Pendleton, a lot of different collaborations that they do. Um, and they release collabs or, or at least they have a new release every single week. It's part of their Monday morning program. To be quite honest, not everything does very well on the Monday morning program in terms of resale value. But if it is a week where it's hitting, you're it's going to hit real nice. Um, and it's definitely worth botting. It's definitely worth putting that time into um, you know, trying to pick up whatever you can. Another dope thing about Kith is that uh, they also have accounts with Nike, with Yeezy, with all these different brands. So they will release shoes as well um, throughout the week uh, for a lot of these hype releases and whatnot. So uh, there's a lot of opportunity to bot Kith. Um, there's a lot that goes into botting. This, I want to do another deep dive into like, I could do one on setting up and, and bots and whatnot setting a box and stuff, uh, but I'm gonna leave that till a bit later because that's a little bit more complicated. Um, and then the last sort of like uh, release that happens like on a weekly basis is Palace. Um, that's more UK friendly. Um, a lot of their items are, are they're, they're a skate company, but, and they have, they do a lot of collaborations with uh, some US brands, but it's more of like a UK, um, I would say sort of brand. Their tri logos are really popular. They're kind of like the Supreme Box logos, um, and those do very well. Uh, I believe the Palace tri logos don't get released very often, so when they do, they sell out. I would say most times I've seen with Palace releases, they sell out. Another reason why I don't go after Palace is because of the time difference. Um, um, it just, I, I haven't really seen the profit margins. I haven't really spent enough time to really look into it, but there's some people that are really into Palace and, and um, there is some money to be made. Um, I just haven't really spent a whole lot of time botting or reselling uh, Palace. But every Friday they release, um, I in terms of specific times, I'm not sure if they change it or not, but they do have releases every Friday. Um, and your cook group should have some info on this. Most cook groups will have um, site specific or brand specific uh, cook uh, information for whatever release it is that you're trying to do. So, you know, given you followed the this this pathway of of getting into botting, you know, with your first one thousand dollars, you know, again, as I mentioned, you might have spent anywhere from fifty um, twenty to fifty dollars on your uh, cook group. And then another, let's say, fifty to three hundred dollars on your bot, um, as well as now you have about, let's say, five hundred dollars to invest in reselling things. Um, definitely ask questions. Definitely spend that time um, learning from people in your cook group because there's a lot of valuable information there that you're just not going to be able to get following on YouTube, following on on Twitter, following on uh, Reddit. Uh, a cook group. You know, I would say finding one good solid cook group is going to do you very, very well in this game of reselling. Um, I join a couple just because of, of there's information in various different cook groups that um, I pull from uh, and that I, I use for my own botting experience. But um, yeah, guys, that's going to be this is pretty much it in, with regards to. Um, how to get set up botting with your first $1,000. So if you, again, if you are a beginner, this was all for you. Um, let me know down below if there are any specific questions that you guys would like me to answer with any of the material that I've been through. Um, if there are any other content or videos that you guys want me to put together, let me know. I would love to put that, that 
uh, content out there for you guys. Um, and uh, that's going to be it. So uh, definitely make sure to subscribe if you are watching this and you've watched it all the way through. Um, definitely make sure to subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. All of my socials will be down below. Uh, also make sure to sign up for the newsletter. Um, I share different tips and tricks on reselling, botting, as well as give you guys some insider um, information with regards to weekly releases. Um, and yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I know it's very, very long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and found a lot of value from it um, as much as I enjoyed putting this together for you guys and make sure to, to check out the blog um, for uh, as a reference as well. So with that, guys, uh, I will catch you guys later. Uh, hopefully you guys have a great week uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.